So I am with another video here. I know these videos are not consistent at all. Um, I'm just here to let you guys know that it is a new year and what my plans are for 2016 regarding this channel. If I'm going to stick with this channel. Um, currently, right now, taking a break from studying. I've been studying about three hours now. I studied. I've been. I'm kind of behind with my studying, but I have my test. I just a few days ago. I uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Scheduled my test. Scheduled. Scheduled my test for the 20th of uh, January. So I have my test this month. Um, I'm studying like crazy lately. Because I am behind because I didn't, I didn't mean my family moved to a different location, and that took away my studying time, and uh, made me go behind. So my plan is to become certified by then. I really do not want to fail this test. I just became certified in CPR and AED yesterday. So you know, these are my notes right here. I filled this whole notebook up with notes because that's what notebooks are for for fucking notes and then you know I started a new one I got this one halfway filled up now I'm trying to fill it all up with as much notes as I possibly can so I can review them and pass the motherfucking test um, I'm nervous honestly because it's, I'm going through NASA see it's my syllabus NASA it's backwards NASA so NASA 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 I don't know. Uh, it's a pretty complex course. In a good way, it's good. I mean, I say, in a positive way, it's good, but in a non-positive way, uh, negative way, it's fucking hard. But I think I can get it. When you know it's fucking hard, you know it's worth it. So, NASM is pretty cool, and I love the videos. The videos are helping me the most out of everything. Because I am not a reader. I'm a, I have dyslexia, if none of y'all know. So the videos really help. I'm more of a visual learner anyway. And that's how I've been taking my notes. It's from the videos. And I took the practice test a couple times already. And everything that's in the practice test so far that I've went through the videos have been in the videos. So, which is really good. So I know the videos are definitely helping. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, planning to do with this channel? Uh... I really want to continue this channel or start a new one. I really don't know yet because this channel's died out. Even when I upload videos, they don't get views. So I really thinking about starting a new one. I have some of the channels open. I should just close them all. I really don't want to close them just because I have old videos of what I used to be like up there. So I might just make a whole different channel. And if I do, it will be called Mulatto. Because I this one's called Mulatto Brother. I want to stick with Mulatto. Okay. But I'm going to add like something, you know, after that. It might be a Mulatto Fitness. Uh, my Instagram is Mulatto B, so I might stick with the same thing as my Instagram. Um, I don't know. I really don't know yet, but I really want to start making videos again. I want to talk about certain topics in the fitness industry that either irk me uh, or I really support or just, just to give my random opinion on. I want to talk about uh, chronic illness still because I do suffer from a few chronic illnesses and I live with them every day. And then while it's other uh, topics that revolve around chronic illness and fitness, uh, and I also want to do fitness videos. I want to post my workouts. I want to post a workout for you guys if you want to work out, whether it be in the gym or be at home. I want to do a lot of things, you know. I, I had this dream of being really, not like famous, but just really active on YouTube. But not in a fitness way, because I wasn't doing fitness and I was just doing comedy. And it took me a long time to build up an audience with this channel. I have over a thousand subscribers still, but barely get any views with my videos. Only because I didn't stick with it. I was gone for like three years, so I lost my viewership because of it. Which is my own fault, somebody else's fault. Um, so I want to try and do it all over again. And do it, because from a perspective of a person who used to be obese and is now 
uh, fit. I don't have a fit body as per se. You know, I don't have six packs abs and I don't have muscles that stick through my shirt. <laughs> but I have lost 130 pounds of fat on my own through research and through primitive knowledge of my own findings. So, and now that I'm even learning more shit from NASA, excuse me, NASA, if you watch this, I cuss a lot. I'm learning more shit from NASA and then as well as learning, let me learn more shit as I go on through life as a fitness professional. So this is the career I, I really believe I can do and I can stick with. I'm one of those type of people who doesn't, not, not, not that they can't stick with anything, but just never decides what they really want, really want to do with their life. But now that I find my calling, I know that I want to do fitness. I still want to do comedy. I mean, it's just me. I've always been this, I'm not funny, but I like to just, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's what I hope to do with this channel. Either continue with it or go on to a new one. If I go on to a new one, I'll definitely let you guys know. And hopefully you guys will follow me. Instagram, that's where I am at most of the time. Like I said, Instagram is Mulatto Beast. Take Mulatto, like you see my name. Mulatto Brother GW, take Mulatto. Put Beast at the end of it. Mulatto Beast, as you'll find me. Uh, yeah. So I hope to be back. I started uploading videos again in August of last year. And I didn't really get much views on them. So I did a workout video, a few... Uh, question videos and a few other videos as well and they didn't really get too much views with the subscribers I have so I'm going to probably start a new channel and just start fresh I don't really want to but I might have to and I'll just get over it alright guys I don't want to make this video too long because I'm already rambling um I can't even say I love piece of chick grease no more because I don't eat fried chicken at all anymore uh, love and peace, man. I'm just gonna keep it love and peace. It's all about love, peace, and positivity. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Love, peace, and baldness with cheese grits. I know.